Hello everybody, this is Lady Lena, and um, I'm here to um, attempt to explain um, the reasons why depression and irritability and anxiety and just plain dissatisfaction with life um, may come to play in your life. Um, and so let me give you this example. I love the water. Everybody knows I love the water because when I go to the water, um, I experienced calm, wide openness. Uh, you see the blue skies, the horizon. I mean, the sea stretch for miles. Um, you hear the, you know, the ebb and the flow, the waters. I mean, you know, you could just get lost in a dream world. I mean, and it's peaceful. You know, you, it feels like um, the sky is the limit when you when I'm at the water. When I'm not at the water, um, God has blessed me. I'm a travel nurse. God has blessed me to stay in the hotel um, but the thing with the hotel is that um, I have this little dog journey and everybody knows that dogs have this innate nature to protect I mean they doing their dog thing I mean this is what they are designed to do they protect to protect their master they very territorial territorial and I have a Yorkie and you know they're very 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 um territorial and I noticed that journey gets kind of upset um when she's not able to do what she's created to do she's not created to flow in her purpose or to work in her purpose or do what's natural for her on the other hand, I'm a human. And so our battle between me and Journey is to come on a common ground um, when um, it's time to um, achieve peace or, or to get that balance of equilibrium that we need to coexist together, you know, and we both doing our thing. For example, um, me and Journey, we're in this this repetitive cycle of um, just craziness. And um, I'm trying to understand it because I am the one with uh, knowledge or the one that can make moves or the one that have the ability to make moves, you know, especially when God has made provision. But this is the situation at night. I know I have at night we sleep. Okay, and I go to bed early. On the other hand, Journey, um, her innate ability, I mean, they, you know, the dogs have this incredible um, ability to hear and smell and everything. So we stay in the hotel. And so our hotels like this, say it's one floor, you know, each, you know, each floor is built the same way. But on, a, on one floor, there's a strip, there's a room on rooms on one side of the hallway and then there's rooms on the other side of the hallway okay so there might be like maybe a hundred rooms on one floor divided equally on one side of the hall on the left side of the hall or the right or the left side of the hall the right side of the hall. it's the same amount of room so the rooms primarily face each other and it goes that way all the way down the strip so at night i want to go to sleep but journey got this incredible ability to hear so what I don't hear, she hears. And so we in this cycle. So she can hear people talking and coming out the elevator. I mean, way down at the end of the hall. And, you know, and I always stay at the end of the hall. And because, so I don't hear these things. So I can get rest. But she hears them. So at night she barks, you know, rah, 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 rah. And I wake up out of my sleep, you know, because she wakes me by the bark. And I'll say, quiet, quiet. You know, and then she then she has this whisper thing because she knows she's trying to satisfy me. Um, of like you know, because she know I don't like 
noises. So she'll make a noise like this. It's a bark. It's a bark. It's her type of bark, but it's a whisper bark. She does that so it can stop me from sending her into the bathroom because she don't want to be in the bathroom. She wants to be with me in her cage. But she can't be with me in her cage when she hear people quietly when she hear people comes um, through the elevator or she's walking and it's irritating her. So when she, it irritates her, 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 her natural ability is to bark and she gets upset. And when she does that, I yell and I get upset. And so, and, and so, so this, this cycle, this cycle of, 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 of me and journey trying to maintain equilibrium, balance and peace with our natural ability to, 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 to operate, which we are created to be. So the things that we need to be satisfied in peace. So we in these rooms, uh, this one room in the combination with a bunch of rooms and it's just, it's just not working. It's just not working. And so, so we, we need something to happen And the store in this situation kind of reminds me of Jabez, the prayer of Jabez, and I'm gonna try to do, um, and it, you know, when Jabez says, you know, everyone knows that J J J J uh, Jabez's uh, mother named him Jabez because she experienced pain in her life, and because of the pain she experienced, she's gonna try to transfer that pain onto her child. And as a baby, as a child, you don't know the life that your parents lived. But in fact, they're going to try to push something on you, you know, so you can live with that pain. And that's unnecessary. But that, but that's what um, Jabaz's mother did. But <clears throat> the Bible said Jabaz was more honorable, honorable than his brothers, meaning that he had family members. They all probably was in the same situation. You know, they all probably stayed in the same house, the same room. Or they all probably was doing the same thing. But God said that Jabez was more honorable, meaning that um, Jabez was more pleasing, you know, to God. Okay? I'm not just saying that, you know, they all were, every all his brothers and sisters probably were doing their thing, you know. But they just didn't, they just didn't, they wasn't pleasing to God. In spite of what Jabaz's mother tried to do to him, he tried to rise above that. He tried to rise above that, you know, and um, not be that image or that thing that everybody that his that his mother had put on him, that his mother had taught the the family members to put it put it on them, and and he saw himself as pain. He kind of felt that way too. I mean, because you know what people might think of him, so he was irritated. He was depressed, you know, because he was just in this environment with all his brothers and sisters, and he just needed he just needed a little bit more. And so he says, um, "Oh, that thou will bless me," meaning that he, you know he needed to rise above that he needed something more he said why why he says oh that that will bless me so that um enlarge and enlarge my coast and i'm looking at that maybe as like um maybe when you like i say i like the water right so when you go to the marina or, or you go to the water, you see boats pretty much set up the same way as the hotel rooms are set up. You know, they all in their, um, they're all in their, um, in their, in their ports, their po okay. And they're kind of like, the boats are just like tied up, hinged, you know, um, to the dock. Yeah. To the dock. And so maybe... Jabaz's boat was more beautiful, majestic looking, you know, than his brother's, you know, or maybe it wasn't. But the fact that um, he was kind of hinged, okay, to the dock. And so he said, so that's the, that's the, that's, that's the, that's what I see. That's what I see when I think of Jabaz, when he says enlarge my coast, meaning like he's on the water. But he can't go anywhere. He's in an environment with everybody else. Okay, so that's kind of making him irritable and depressed because 
he need a little bit more. He says, okay, so and, and enlarge my coast. So when he's but someone saying enlarge my coast, me and, and maybe he wasn't, and maybe he could. Maybe he could, maybe he could, maybe, maybe, maybe he could um, you know sell the ITC, okay? That's the um intercoastal um sailing, meaning that it doesn't he can't go out into the open seas, okay? Because maybe his vessel is not big enough or maybe he's don't think he has what it takes or he wants that favor on his life. He wants the hand of God on a life on his life. So when he goes out there in the deep that he can handle whatever he's going to face, but that's what he needs in order to get a little bit further because where he at on this marine, on his dock, or this intercoastal, and it's, it's, it's not much. It's, he's with everybody else, and everybody else is not going nowhere. He want to go somewhere. And he says, oh, that thou will bless me and enlarge my coast, and, and that your hands will be with me. Your hand will, be, so I don't cause pain. Okay, he don't want to stay in the same situation he don't want to look the same. He don't. He don't want to look the same. He want to look the way he feels. You know. Yes. 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 He experienced pain. Yes, hurt. And maybe what he experienced, he perhaps he probably um, shared that a little with others. But he don't want to do that anymore. He he wants to be who he is. But he know in order for him to do, to, do, to be to do to, to be who he is, he need. He would need a little bit more because it's, he's feeling kind of uh, claustrophobic, you know. So he needs to get out these rooms, you know, with everybody else, you know, so he can get some peace and some rest and some, you know. He needs to, 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 to sell the open seas and see the open skies and, you know, because it's peaceful. He need a little bit more. Chip ass. Okay, and so so he needs God hands with him to just to do a little bit more. And so that was the prayer. That was the prayer. He didn't want to cause harm to no one anymore. He don't want to be irritable, you know, but he want to do what he was created to do because he know is a little bit more and he know he wants peace and equilibrium for all. He know he got much to give, but he know he can't do it without God. So he prayed to God. And so God answer. So that's my prayer. That's my prayer. Um. So 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 me and Journey can cohabitate together, um, where we don't try to cut down on each other. What we were created to do, we want space to do our own thing. Wide enough space to do our own thing. Okay, we want our own place to do our own thing, so that you know we can live to be who we are. You know, in peace and in love and respect and honor. And we, we're doing our thing. We're flowing in our thing and we all happy. You know, and one of the things, and the, the thing about Journey, um, when I'm not at the water and I'm not in the room, oh my goodness, Journey loves to be in a car and ride with me. She loves it because she knows just us. She just us. There's no there's no noises to irritate her. You know she don't hear anything. She just hear the the sound, the low thing of the uh, I guess the highway noise of the air. It kind of lulls her to a peaceful rest, and she sleeps. So she loves to go on long journeys. She loves the journey. Been travel traveling with me for almost three years because um, she's been with me um, since I had a little pup. So she loves to get in the car and goes. I mean that is life for her. That has her ultimate joy. Just me and her to be together. Just us. And just get on the road. And so, to get ready. So so, so, so that none of us are irritated. And I love I love the ride. I love the, I, I love the ride. I love it. You know, it's peaceful. And so, and um, maybe Journey will be a little bit more happier if we're able to get on a boat and just get the open seas and, and, and let the wind be at our back. And, you know, uh, there's a song um, that Shaka Khan sings that I really, really, really love. It's called uh, Walking in the Suns. And, you know, she was saying even a blind man can tell when it's walking um, walking in the sun. And one of the lyrics, it says, uh, one of the, the stances, it says, 
the wind is at my back and I'm sailing on a ship that it's overdue. Even a blind man can tell when it's walking in the sun. So it's time. New territory. New territory. New mites. New heights. Things to be done for the kingdom. But we need God's hands to be with us. Okay, so um, I wanted to, you know, I was going to write it and present it more formal. But I'm trying to just speak more at lib just just speak what's in my heart instead of writing it and i prefer to write it because i don't feel the completeness in it but um i just had to give that to you so um i hope you got the message enjoy i know you need in order for you not to be depressed um or to think you're depressed you're not depressed you're just irritable you're irritable because you need to see more you know it's more in you but you can't reach it. You feel like you're hinged. You're hinged and you're hitched and tied to the dock. Okay, you need the deep, and you know it's dangerous out there in the deep. You already know that, and you know you need the hand of God with you in order to handle the deep. It's time to experience the deep, deep sea diving. Me and you. All right, <laughs> love you much.